The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam tells us how important it is not to react and retaliate to someone who's abused us in any way, in a way that would create a bigger problem. When you're fasting, you should go out of your way to say, I'm fasting. You've sworn me, but I'm fasting. I'm not going to swear back and I'm going to train myself to become a better person even while I'm not fasting. Amazing. Which means even during the days I'm not going to be fasting later on, I will still be of this high level of morality, high values and so on. So my brothers and sisters, immediately after the verses of fasting, and I've spoken to you very briefly about how we can attain contentment through fasting. Immediately after that, the Almighty makes mention of something very, very powerful. وَإِذَا سَأَلَكَ عِبَادِي عَنِّي فَإِنِّي قَرِيبٌ أُجِيبُ دَعْوَةَ الدَّاعِ إِذَا دَعَانِ When my worshippers ask you about me, ask you meaning Muhammad sallallahu about me, tell them I'm very near. I'm very near. I respond to the call of those who are calling out to me, asking me. So ask me and I will respond. Imagine the Almighty is telling us how important it is to call out to Him for our needs. When you have a need, you first call out to the Almighty. You ask the Almighty, you make sure that you call out to Him alone, and you make sure that you are content just by the call. Why content? He may give you what you want, and if he knows it's not good for you, you are so convinced and you have so much in terms of belief in the Almighty that you will know he didn't give it to me because perhaps it wasn't the right time, perhaps it wasn't the right thing, perhaps it wasn't good for me at all. So we called out, we received the reward by calling out. And you know what? When we called out, we know that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has heard that particular dua and supplication. And so we were satisfied. In Ramadan and outside Ramadan, we call out to Allah. In Ramadan, call out to Allah more. Imagine Allah creates needs within us so that we can develop a relationship with Him. If we didn't have those needs, would we be calling out to Allah? Many people whose lives seem to be flowing and smooth, they don't even call out to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. In fact, they don't even fulfill their own obligations unto Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Hence, they lose contentment, they lose that happiness. You cannot achieve happiness if you don't have a link with the one who's made you. It might be a temporary feeling of joy, it might be a temporary happiness, but it's not a deep-rooted contentment within the heart. And this is why the Almighty tells us about calling out to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala just after having spoken about the month of Ramadan and the fasting of Ramadan. May Allah grant us that contentment. Aqulu qawli hadha wa sallallahu wa sallama wa baraka على نبينا محمد والسلام عليكم ورحمة الله